guys, look at how damn beautiful this city is. If you guys have not been to San Diego, I highly suggest you guys come visit. But yo, I had a very important topic that somebody wanted me to go over. And I'm, I'm super excited that somebody actually asked me to go over this topic. I'm going to show you guys how to use a proper 3 to 1 risk reward ratio, how your stop loss is going to correlate with that using proper risk, a bunch of very important things. So definitely stay tuned for this video. But I wanted to tell you guys something. I started a new group chat. It's not like a regular signals chat. I actually do um, team calls every week where all the members come on this team call that I host. We go over a new educational subject every time. Um, as well with that, you are gonna get a free 30 minute call with me. So it's more like a consulting. I kinda wanna see where you're at trading wise, things that you're struggling with, how I can help you out. And I also wanna go over your 12 month goals. And as well with that, I am gonna add in a free 72 minute Forex course. So you're getting a bunch of free stuff within this free seven day trial in this group chat. There is a link in the description where you guys can check it out. Hey, I'm not saying you guys have to sign up, but at the end of the day, if you're open-minded, definitely check it out there's a quick video where i explain more in depth with what's in that group chat but guys i'm gonna see you in my computer in just a second let's get it yo yo what is going on traders so before we actually dive into the lesson what we're going to be going over I want to remind you guys that I am doing giveaways on all the videos. I'm not really so much doing the giveaways on my YouTube channel, like pronouncing the winners on here. I actually have a group chat where every time I post a video, I actually notify everyone in the group chat that, yo, we have a new video that's out. And um, I also do have a giveaway. So we have been doing a lot of giveaways, like cash giveaways, course giveaways. But I just want to let you guys know that that chat is down below. It's actually my free group chat, my free Forex chat. So there's actually Forex signals in there. Um, that's where I do post YouTube videos, like I mentioned a second ago, and a lot of great information as well. So if you guys want to be a part of the giveaways and know like who the winner is, things like that, that's the best place to that's the best place to be. So what I want to go over with you guys in this video is how to use a proper three to one risk to reward ratio. Honestly, this is a very important topic. I really wish I knew about this sooner. Um, I would have saved a lot of money. I would have saved a lot of frustration, honestly, when it came to trading. So let's dive in. So obviously, when we go into a trade, you already know you're going to do your analysis, finding the trend line, support, resistance, things like that to actually identify whether you're going to go long or short in the market. So hypothetically, let's pretend that we're going to go long on AUDUSD, just doing a short look at the market right here. I'm going to find where I'd put my stop loss and my take profit so a lot of the time when i'm personally trading i'm looking at how certain candles are opening and closing so we can see that we are closing above the 20 length moving average right here this little blue line giving us confirmation that we have more buyers and sellers in the market and we're re rejecting the zone right here so i'll wait for this candle to close the market is closed right now it's going to open back up tomorrow and when it does a new candle is going to open here so obviously like Okay, my biases were going long. What I'm gonna do is put my stop loss below the previous candle, the wick. Let's make this red to identify our stop loss. And then we're gonna mark up that zone. We're gonna see the pip count from current market price there. Okay, so we have about a 26 pip stop loss. So I'm gonna be going for 75 pips up. Okay, because you wanna get your stop loss and then you're gonna have your take profit every time like honestly guys like you can do a one to two risk reward ratio but i would recommend i would highly recommend a three to one risk reward ratio and i'm going to explain that in just a second okay so 26 times three that's 78 excuse me okay perfect right there and this is where our take profit's going to be and the last tool that we're going to use to make sure that we have a proper risk reward ratio is we're going to go right here so it says long position and short position. Long is obviously buys, shorts are obviously sells. So we're going to grab this tool since we're going long. And I like to place it to the left because watch when I actually put it on the chart. You guys can see that it's kind of spread out like that. Usually it's a little bit longer, but I like to squish this right side in. I get this bubble, squish it in, and then I'm going to drag it to where our current market price is. And you want to make sure that that black line is lined up to wherever your entry is going to be then we're going to bring the stop loss up so we have 28 pips of risk 
and then we're gonna bring our take profit up here 80 pips reward so we can see that it says 2.8 so we're gonna bring our stop loss up a little bit more okay, okay there we go risk slash reward ratio is 3.0 so we have a three to one risk reward ratio meaning that our take profit from current market price is three times the size of our stop loss so we're going to go over nas 100 in just a second and gbp usd and do the same thing but i want to let you guys know like let's hypothetically pretend that we're going into aud usd for a buy um gbp usd for a sell and um euro usd for a buy as well okay let's say all the trades that we're going into have a 26 pip stop loss okay and then they all have an 80 pip take profit so we're going into three positions and let's say that AUD USD and Euro USD they hit stops for 26 pips each okay we're down 52 pips and then let's say GBP USD we're going short on it or long I think I said and that goes and hits our take profit for 80 pips so it's 80 minus 52 that's um 28 pips of profit so obviously like 28 pips isn't that much but I want you guys to realize at the end of the day like that's what I would recommend that you guys do, whether you're a scalp trader or a swing trader. I'm going to give you two scenarios. If you're a scalp trader, I'd not be going into more than three trades a day or a session. If you're a swing trader, obviously swing trading is more on higher time frame, so it takes more time to get to our take profit or our deal or our ideal target profit, whatever it may be. So I want you guys to know that like, I would be taking three trades per week. You don't really want to over trade, and I see so many people doing that. Like, Figure out what your trading goals are for the day, the week, and literally see the pip count, your lot size, how that adds up to your trading goals. But be very specific and very clear. I don't want to see you guys over trade because that's one of the things that made me lose a lot of money. I'd go into the markets, I'd make a good profit, and I'd be like, do you know what? Like, Let's go right back into the markets. Let's do this again. And then I'd lose money. I'd lose all that money that I had made previous before going into that second position. Okay, so now let's go to NAS 100. I want to show you guys the pip count on here because it is a little bit different. So observing the trend, we are in downtrend. I'm going to go to the one hour time frame. Now I want you guys to realize though, like when you're going to smaller time frames, the support and resistance levels are smaller versus if we go to the one day, okay, let's find the resistance for the daily right up here. And then let's go to the one hour so you can see and we're going to mark up the one hour resistance so right here currently on the one hour this is our resistance from current market price to our resistance on the one hour time frame it's a 839 pips okay so you're looking right here if it's eight point if it's 839 it's 839 pips and then if we go to our current market price so you have to realize the indices the pip count is different we go to our current market price all the way up here okay that's 2876 pips right there so the pip count is much higher looking at the resistance on the daily time frame versus the one hour time frame so you don't want to have like too big of a stop loss at the end of the day especially when you're trading indices you guys do not want to have like a huge stop loss okay so let's mark this up um like i said we're looking for shorts most likely so here is where my stop loss would be I'm gonna get the pip count right here. I think it was like 800 something. Okay, let's go 800 even. So 800 times three, I'm horrible with math, guys. Let me do this real quick. 800 times three, 2,400, you're doing that. Okay, so now we're gonna get current market price. Let's go to 2,400. Okay, that's close enough. And you guys are gonna see right now, so this time we're not going long we're going short drag it to current market price squeeze it in make sure the black line is lined up and you can also change it like right here you guys can see that i change it from a yellow line or a black line from a yellow so i'm going to make it black to see it's more visible and you guys can see drag my stop loss down my take profit we're always looking for 3.0 or more so we have a pot of positive risk reward ratio here perfect perfect Okay, so actually let's go back to that and look at exactly on our risk to reward and our profit. So we're risking 799 pips, 800 pips basically, to a reward of 2,500 pips. Okay, and it doesn't always have to, I say like minimum, 
I would have a risk reward ratio at 3.0. You could have it at 4.0, 5.0. You could have your take profit 10 times bigger than your stop loss. And that's what you guys overall want to get. You want to get to the point where you're having a very tight risk and then a huge reward at the end of the day. So our last setup will be on GBP USD. Okay, looks like we're bottoming out on that point of support. I'm gonna go to the daily just to look. So honestly, like I think that the market's still gonna short looking at the previous daily candle. So let's mark it up here on the daily. Obviously, we're gonna have a big stop loss. So right above resistance right there. Okay. So our stop loss is 93 pips. So let's just go for 300 pips to the downside. Okay, then we're gonna mark it up super easy. Short position again, drag it to the left, squeeze it in, make sure the black line is lined up to our entry. Okay, bring this down, bring this down. There we go. And I love this too because I'm, I'm super visual. Like I like looking at charts and seeing exactly what happens. So what I'll usually do is when I get my setup like this, I'll enlarge the screen and then I'll go take a screenshot and now I have that here's the before picture and I'm gonna get so much feedback once this happens if my setup goes the way that I want I'm gonna have a dope before and after picture so it's really cool being able to see that I would definitely recommend that you guys recommend that you guys do that just so like you can see how your trades are doing how you're progressing as a trader it's really cool to just have that feedback but that's what I wanted to go over with you guys in this video um, like I said in the beginning of the video make sure that you join that free chat it's on telegram um, there's literally a link below you guys can join it I'm sending trades in there some great information every week and that's where the video giveaways are going to be so I will announce the winners early 24 hours after a video is posted I'll put the video link in there and everything but I, I just want to say like I really appreciate you all for being a part of the channel I was talking to my video editor just right now on the phone and he had told me that over the past week from the four videos that we uploaded that we got 4,200 views I think so that's tremendous I know I did kind of take a break from uploading on YouTube kind of to just get my mind right and things like that but I know what I need to do and I, I love that you guys are giving positive feedback you're liking the videos you're showing appreciation the comments are fucking awesome like all I see is love in the comments so I appreciate you guys so fucking much more than you guys know and when you guys support me when you motivate me when you're liking the content that I'm putting out it makes me want to go harder we got Metro in the background barking I don't know what he's barking at but it, it definitely want, makes me want to go harder guys so keep the support going but I will see you guys in the next video peace out